Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about IELTS reading. So today's topic is heading matching. So here, this is Milton sir. Uh, I will talk about the tips and techniques, the strategies that I follow in, in a method which is called logical heat and try method. So here I have followed, I have written them. So in order to match the heading, what you'll have to do, number one, read each heading, understand meaning clearly. Number one thing. This is uh, technique number one. You have to read all the headings, understand meaning very clearly. Otherwise there'll be problem. Number two, circle the keywords. So you have to mark the, highlight the keywords. If it is computer based exam, there is, a, you'll have to uh, press the right button and then there is an option called head uh, highlight. And if it is manual examination, then you just mark with the pencil. So circle the keywords like names, places, dates, nouns, adjectives, terms. Just circle it. Number three is find out the similarities or dissimilarities or differences. Pick out point or mark. Number three, read first and last sentence of each paragraph. This will save your time and you will skim through. You'll understand. At least read the first two lines, if it is a large paragraph, first two lines of the last uh, two lines of a paragraph, then you'll understand what is the main uh, part of it. Then number five, which I have followed. Once confused with any heading or paragraph, move on. Don't waste your yeah. time. Solve others which are sure and then come back to the confusing one. Remember, there can be ever be one possible heading for each paragraph. There is no possibility of two headings for each paragraph. There is only one possible heading for each paragraph. So let me explain the techniques that I have gone through. Uh, look at number one. In paragraph A, in most of the cases, you'll find definition and meaning of a terminology. In number two, writer's point of view, final judgment. These will be there in the last paragraph for sure. And in the another option is if there is a comparison of two things in any heading, you will find more than, bigger than, similar to, uh, less than these words in a head, heading. Then number four is if there is any kind of description of numerical number having any kind of uh, terminology with the data there will be cost budget finance any kind of uh, idea and it will be for sure you'll find it in uh, in the numerical order and number five if there is any question in a heading like why so you have to go through causes and reasons and another is an example of if the, there is an, an example of something Remember, there is a, there will be explain a kind of detail. There will be example like, for instance, e.g. or that is, i.e. Those things will be there, and with this, you will be able to identify those paragraphs quite easily. Have a look here. I have gone through some headings. Number one, temperature on Earth is on ever increase. So. Temperature, art, increase. These are the ideas. The greenhouse effect is dangerous. So greenhouse effect is the keyword. Creating global warming. So global warming is another keyword. Use of greenhouse effect. So use is important. Greenhouse effect. Because you have already another word, greenhouse effect. So use of greenhouse gas. Keyword. Our choices. So choice must be wiser. Greenhouse gases cause high temperature. So temperature is one and greenhouse gas is another. Earth's atmosphere is blocked. So atmosphere of earth. Recycle the waste is a good option. So recycle the waste. Effects of carbon dioxide. So effects of carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is, will be very important. And ozone layer. Another. So I have already found out the keywords. I have understood the headings. Now it will be very easy for me to go through the passages and hopefully uh, we'll be able to match them. In my next part of this video, I will show you some passages. Then I will match these headings with the passage.
then you will be able to understand clearly hopefully uh, these ideas are very clear to you this is the technique that i have followed in my ielts exam thank you very much